find yourself having to make tough decisions? Maybe you found yourself in a situation where you had to really make a tough decision, but you felt like there was no right answer. It was like no matter what you chose, you were wrong. I wanna be able to help you with that decision today. I wanna to help you with a process that will allow you to accelerate those tough decisions. My name's Joe Moffi with Master Life by Design, and today's video is four rules for tough decision making. All right, the first one is, all important or tough decisions must be written down on paper. If you don't write it down on paper, you're gonna go crazy in your head trying to think through everything and all these different angles. When you put it on paper, it becomes concrete. You get it out of your head and onto paper. You have this visual experience where you can start to decipher where things go and what's what, what's the pros, what's the cons. You wanna get it out of your head because when you do that, you're going to be free mentally and you'll have more mental clarity to start looking and making decisions that are best for you in this situation. If you don't, you have this looping process in your head where you go over the same thing over and over and you come back to it and you can never make a decision. So the best thing you could do is get it out of your head, put it on paper so it's concrete and it's drained out of your brain. Next, you have to be clear on what you really want and why you want it. If you don't know what you truly want and why you want it, you're gonna find yourself in a situation where you're going to not be able to make the best decision because you're not even clear what the bullseye is. If your, pet, if your goal is financial freedom and you have a certain number that you need to hit passively in order to supersede your expenses, but you don't know that number, you'll never be able to hit it. And so all of a sudden you'll find yourself just doing things that are hopefully going to get you over the top, but you don't even know when that is. You have to know how you know when you've hit that, right? You have to know what the evidence or the criteria is to say, I've achieved this outcome. You also gotta know why you want it because if you don't know why, in the moments when things get difficult, what you're gonna tend to do is you're gonna wanna give up. It's like the air is let out of your tires. You're not gonna be able to keep moving forward. But when you know exactly why and it's inspiring to you, it influences you to keep going during the most difficult times, all of a sudden, you start to go one or two steps further than you would have. And when you compound that over 365 days, you will see a massive difference from where you could have been to where you actually are. And so you gotta get clear on what the target is and why you want that when you're making tough decisions, especially on your path to financial freedom. Let me share an example with you in my own personal life. So my wife and I, we bought a second home in the mountains that we Airbnb out. And so we were looking at giving our kids this epic experience where we can tell them, hey, we're gonna go up to our cabin and we're gonna go play in the snow or we're gonna go mountain biking or we're gonna go to the lake up there and spend the weekend up there. We wanted to give our children and our friends this magical moment or moments that they can experience in our second home. And so one of the things we had to do is get clear on how much were we willing to spend and what could the Airbnb actually help pay for the mortgage? Like what could it cover throughout the year? Obviously in the mountains, it's a seasonal situation where we're gonna have some really great months and then we're gonna have some really low months. And what we ultimately decided was we wanted to be able to have magical experiences with our friends and our kids and have our mortgage paid for throughout the year. And if we cash flowed above the expenses, that was a win. We weren't expecting to buy an investment property where we were cash flowing $50,000 a year. However, we knew that if we can pay our mortgage, have those experiences and cash flow somewhat, then it was a win for us. And so we had to be really clear on what that number was from a mortgage standpoint on a monthly basis and what the number said, what if we were to Airbnb it a certain percentage of the time, we had to know that. And we had to know why, because in those rough months where you know no one's buying or Airbnb being our place, excuse me, we have to fork out that mortgage, right? We have to come out of pocket depending on, you know, if we, how much we cash flowed the months prior. And we had to be okay with that, right? Hear me clearly. We had to be okay with that in those months where it was a little bit rough and we remembered why we were doing this. And if we didn't, we would just easily get beaten down, wonder why do we make this decision? But when we're up there and we actually see the joy that our kids are having, the fun in the snow or swimming in the lake or, 
you know, being able to see the deer cross the road right in front of our house or even come up to our door. It's such a magical experience and that's what we wanted. And that was our why, our purpose in investing in our second home. So you have to not only be clear, but you also have to know your purpose. Number three is you are going to have to make decisions based on probability, not absolutes. If you think you're going to have the exact numbers or you're gonna know the exact answer in these situations that you're looking to make a tough decision on, you're probably not gonna experience that. You're not gonna have a level of certainty that you desire. So you gotta base it on probability and not absolutes or absolute certainty. All decisions carry consequences. And if you don't do that in a timely and effective manner, then you're gonna experience certain circumstances that are really going to impact you or your path to financial freedom. For example, I can't tell you how many times I've coached people and they wanna know, is this a good investment? Should I invest in that? I even asked myself that before in the past when investing in certain um, assets or certain companies. And so the thing you gotta know is, you're never gonna have that absolute answer. And if you don't make a timely decision, right? This is why we're giving you these rules, is that you can make timely decisions. For example, there's a property where you start to think that the numbers, based on what you have, the information you have, has a great opportunity to cash flow, you know, maybe four to five figures on a monthly basis, but there's some risk and you're determining is the risk worth the reward? and you sit on that because you're just ping-ponging all over the place, you're just in your head, you're trying to think through it, you know, is this right, is it not right? You're thinking in absolutes, you want the absolute certainty, you're never going to make the decision because someone else will come along and they will make a better offer than you or the same offer and get the property or the asset or the business before you and that could have cost you four figures or even five figures in cash flow on a monthly basis. It can derail your path to financial freedom. You do that on two or three deals or opportunities and you just wipe financial freedom away for years to come. Number four is all decision making is value clarification. What I've seen time and time with students or clients or even in myself in, at times is that we have multiple decisions we need to make simultaneously, right? We have to decide certain situations or certain business opportunities or certain deals that come on our plate and where do we put our money because sometimes the money's limited maybe you only have a hundred thousand or three hundred thousand or five hundred thousand to actually put into a deal or two and you got to start to make a decision on which one or which ones are the best options for you so you have to be clear of the order of importance in which you're looking to make a decision or decisions on. Because again, sometimes we have to make simultaneous decisions and there's a lot going on. You have to make multiple decisions. And so how do you do that? How do you make the most effective decisions? And what I'm here to tell you is that you will never on your path to financial freedom or certain things you have to make in your own personal life or even tough decisions about you know loved ones, whether they move on or not, right? And you might have to make that call. Here's what I got to tell you is you will never have the, the right answer. You will never have the right answer in these tough situations, but you will have the best answer. And the way we do that is through identifying through probability, right? So first you got to get it out on paper, right? The first step is get it out of your head, get it on paper. What is the situation? Number two is you gotta get clear. You have to be clear on what your target is and why. What do you truly want? Because there might be multiple decisions that you gotta make, and but it's what's the clear outcome that you're after, right? Number three is it's based on probability, right? And so what are the pro cons? What's the probability that the pros will actually happen? What's the probability that the cons will actually happen, right? And when you can get clear on what that probability is, you start to be sweet way to what's the best decision, not the right decision. So many times I and other clients have been caught up in the situation where we got to make the right decision and there is none right? There absolutely is not. You have two deals on the table. They both have great cash on cash returns. They both cash flow. They both have almost the same amount of risk attached to it. Which deal do you pick? Because you only have a certain amount of money. And so there's no right answer, but you have to go on probability and you have to work through that. And lastly is value clarification. What's most important to you? If you have to make a decision on investing in this asset or buying a new vehicle just because you want to be keeping up with the Joneses, right? 
all of a sudden you got to say, you know, what do I value most? Do I value financial freedom or do I value being seen by others and ooh and all initially uh, by someone or a group of people? And really within a couple of weeks, they don't really care about your vehicle and it doesn't really make a difference, but you have more debt. You're further away from financial freedom. You got to identify what is most important to you. Number four is really important for me and my wife when we have to make decisions on, hey, do we invest in our health or do we invest in this new toy or taking this you know, weekend trip or buying this thing that we would like to have? It's not a need, but it's a want. And so what we do is we base it on our values, right? Like what's most important to us because we're gonna have to make a decision. We might want this new toy for our house and i'm not talking toys for like our kids i'm talking like you know hey we're looking at air purifiers which is actually part of our health but you know do we really need a you know brand new xbox our kids don't play video games right maybe our niece and nephews they would like that when they come over but it's not a it's not a need for us or do we invest in our house we're buying supplements or buying an air purifier that will help us breathe even better right and so you got to use these four decision making rules to really help you come up with the best probability so as we wrap up here these four rules will help you on your path to financial freedom what to invest in what not to invest in which one is the best deal for you what's something that you would put on the back burner you know whether it comes to your health or not what do you invest in around your health and so these four rules will help you but mainly on your path to financial freedom you got to understand there's no right answer but there is a best answer for you and based on what you value and what you want to experience in your life don't follow others don't follow their path because what they may value is not what you value and their decisions might not be what's best for you I have a mentor of mine they're buying an incredibly expensive home a huge home at that and if we went and tried to do that we would find ourselves living you know paycheck to paycheck basically we wouldn't be able to have the quality of life that we have now don't get me wrong we have an incredible life an incredible lifestyle but we're not going to strap ourselves to keeping up with the Joneses with a higher monthly mortgage than what we actually can afford right we want to be able to live within our means and because we have we know we're clear on the lifestyle Hear me clearly, we're clear on the lifestyle we desire, not the stuff that we desire. But if stuff's important to you, awesome, go for it. But I value financial freedom and having lifestyle more than the stuff. And it's funny because as I'm recording this video, both our boys have symptoms. They've been you know, clinging to my wife um, you know, for the last four days. And so they're, they're on the turnaround right now, but my wife had to like literally sleep with our son throughout the day, multiple naps throughout the day and hold him. And she's like, I just wanna work. But then she's like, you know what? I'm releasing, I'm gonna let go. We built this lifestyle, right? Because of the financial freedom we've created. We built this lifestyle so we can have moments like this. We don't have to be at a job and you know have someone watch our kids when they're not feeling good and they're crying for us and we can't be there for them because we got to go serve our boss we've created this lifestyle we value that right number four we have value clarification we value the freedom more than the stuff nothing wrong with stuff right we like it we have it we want more of it but we value the lifestyle so i hope this helps you I hope this helps you get clear on tough decisions and just takes away the belief that you actually have a right decision to make, but there's a best decision. And you use this process and it will help you on those tough decisions. All right, guys, so if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, like it, but most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when all of our videos come out. We have some epic shorts that you can actually watch on our YouTube channel, Master Life by Design. So with that, guys, thank you for watching today. Comment below what you found that was valuable for you, and then we will see you on our next video. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.